Hi guys, I'm Jim and it's 2 and 5 and I am here to do the unboxing of a really, really, really rare airplane on YouTube. I mean, rare. No one has it on YouTube, except maybe one person, I forget who it is, I'm totally blanking out right now, but he has this plane, not an unboxing video, just a pick, uh, an airport video. I forget, I'm sorry if you're watching this, but here it is. Can't find it on anyone, it's very... Um, unannounced, this plane, it really has nothing, like, I can't pronounce, like, say, no one really has it, and it's really unannounced, no one really knows about this plane, but on Waffle Collectibles, I found it a long time ago, about a month ago, on the, the February 6th, so, um, they had it then, but they don't have it now, which is the EPS MD-11. McDonnell Douglas, MD-11. Now, um, the funny thing is that it did come on FedEx, because that was the cheapest, other than USPS or UPS, which was kind of more expensive. But let's start. Now, this is in the big box, which is kind of surprising, because I didn't really think that it would be in the big box, but... Uh, comes with a free stand, like all UPS models do. I am so excited for this. This is the only unboxing of the UPS and the 11 on YouTube, so. <laughs> now, I did bring my other um, stand that I have. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. From my other planes, but in case this one didn't work. But it does. I hope. Here we are. UPS MD-11. Now, this plane is, like, magnificent. It has such great detail from the few seconds I saw it. And I am actually really amazed of how great detail this is. Oh, my first MD-11. Definitely not my last. I'm getting a FedEx MD-11. So, let's get a closer view of it. Here is the tail um, with this little thing. I don't know what it's called, but if you could just tell me, that would be magnificent. I have the, the UPS tail, second UPS plane that I have. When we go to the front, we have just a regular kind of cockpit view. I don't know. Amazing. Now, World Services. Now, I am really excited. Now, let's just move this back. It's pretty cool, of course. All MD-11s have the bottom landing gear and the regular, these landing gears, the main landing gear. Man, it's actually, like, kind of greasy, like, new. Pretty cool. Um, now, the registration of it is, let's see. I didn't really show you the box. Um, N276UP, which is the same exact plane on US Air I took. It was N276AY, I think, that I flew from Madrid to Philadelphia. So, you can see in the landing video that I have. Um, here's the box. It's the regular box that I had my other UPS in. It's pretty cool. Not my last UPS, hopefully. And on the back, it just says UPS. So, let's put it on the new stand that I have. For some reason, my... Virgin Atlantic one doesn't really fit on the stand, so... And I forgot. And the weird thing is that when you look at the stand for the hole, it's, like, not in the middle. It's kind of, like, raised here. Pretty cool. So let's just put this on the stand. Doesn't fit. Huh. Oh, it does. Oh my gosh, I am so excited now. I am getting a FedEx, so look out for that soon. Maybe not anytime soon, but now we can see the cargo door. You can't see it, but maybe if you put it full screen in high resolution, you can see. When we go to the back, the tail with the third engine. That's the cool thing about MD-11s. And also the other cool thing is that my dad, his friend, is still flying for um, World Airlines, World Air Cargo. He used to fly the MD-11s, now he got upgraded to the 747, but
But he used to fly all over to Japan, Australia, everywhere that they used to serve. Well, they still serve. But he just recently got upgraded to the 747. And his brother also works for World Air on the 747 as well. Now, also, this video is going to be kind of long, but I found some destinations. Look, my cool U.S. Air note card I got on the company store. But I found out that UPS goes to actually a lot of places from Philadelphia to many cargo destinations, which are just regular airports. But So first I have Raleigh, Miami, Baltimore, Louisville, Paris, Hong Kong, East Midlands, England, Boston, Cologne, Germany, Chicago, and Ontario, California. But that's all I could find. There are probably a lot more if you could comment on that and tell me where else they go to. That would be nice. And I would really appreciate it. So, here we are. MD-11 taken off from the Philadelphia airport. I do sometimes see a lot of MD-11s at Philadelphia, but not really that often. And when we look up to the landing gear, it says 276. And back there is a registration. So, I hope you guys liked this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and check back. Please watch my Finnair and new American Airlines One World. And be on the lookout for the FedEx and maybe another plane. And also my airport video. So, thank you. Goodbye.